Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install SQL Server Management Studio 21 on Windows 11 machine. So first I will uh, install SQL Server 2022 and I will open the Google search bar and I will type download SQL Server 2022 and I will go to this official Microsoft uh, website and then afterwards I will go to downloads and then I will go down and I will go over here and I will download SQL Server 2022 uh, this one Express Edition and it is going to start the download process so you have to wait for a while look the download process has been started now I'm going to open the file uh, which I have already downloaded okay open the file and just need to wait for a while and then you need to click yes and afterwards uh, the installation the download process has, has begun okay now you have to select the installation type so I will select the basic version and and I will uh, select accept and this is where it will be installed I'm not going to change anything I will click install and this is going to first uh, download the packages and then it will install it so just wait So the installation process has been completed. Now I will click connect now. We are done. We have successfully installed the SQL Server 2022. Now is the time to install SQL Server Management Studio 21. So I will click install and then I'm going to go down and I will go to step number two and I will click download SSMS 21 and I will open the exe file and this is going to open the installer so click yes and you just need to wait and follow the process click continue and just wait so the size is around 2.48 GB so I will click install so I will install while downloading so click install So the installation process has been completed. So now I'm going to click OK. Uh, after that, I will click launch and just wait. SQL Server Management Studio 21. Just wait. Skip. So server name is the combination of your host name and then backslash followed by the service name. So now let me just open the services and let's see if it is run, up and running or not. Go to services, click yes and search for SQL services, uh, this one and open it and just select automatic and stop and then start the service again. Start it again and click apply and OK. Now I'm going to connect it to my server. Uh, encrypt, encryption is should be set as optional and I'm going to connect connect and this is going to connect to my SQL server so now uh, I am going to click new query so now you are ready to create tables and you are ready to uh, write SQL queries I hope you have gone through the process at the end I will request you to please subscribe like and share thank you